Hello, Journey is here. So there were quite a few things that I didn't cover when we were playing through the new account. And so this episode aims to cover a lot of different things. Firstly, the new expansion for Hearthstone has been announced. The Boomsday Project. So there's quite a few things here. This is the trailer for the, the expansion. I recommend you watch it, it's pretty well crafted. And we've got these cards here that, you, that were revealed. So you got a bunch, you got the, ma the magnetic mechanic which works on mechs. You basically merge a mech together and then it gets the combined like death rattle and effects. You got biology project, you got project cards that give both players benefits. You've got uh, legendary employees or like just legendary minions that have special effects. You've got Omega cards, which you can play early on in the game for like, let's just say like a regular stat body. This here is a 2-6 tort. But if you have 10 mana crystals, then it gains a benefit. This can become a late game card at 12-6, which is pretty insane. And then you have legendary spells. So this is the probably the, the first expansion where you have legendary spells by themselves. And each card is rumored to have one. So this is Rogue's let's draw the rest of your deck, which is could be pretty crazy. So as well as that, you've got free solo player content, which is uh, the puzzle puzzle lab coming up. Which gives you four different types of puzzles. And then of course there's the bundles. For if you want to spend money on it. So you got the 49.99 bundle. Uh, which gives you 50 packs, gold legendary, and the card back. And then you have the the eighty dollar bundle. Which gives you eighty packs and a Mecha Duraxis Hero, which is just a cosmetic. So that's if you want to spend money on this, but we're not aiming to spend money on this count. We'll just be uh, saving up some gold. Saving up some gold for the some of these Boon's Day Project packs. And if you like uh, like free to play player and you've been playing for a few months at least, I would suggest you that you have your gold saved up for to buy some packs and release and have some some fun. And um, in this series, I want to be like emphasizing the amount of fun you can have with just like let's say 20 to 30 packs and some craft crafting, because that's basically like what a a new player or free to play player should kind of be like looking for at the start when you have like four or five different expansions to catch up on. And uh, yeah, I mean, some people will say you should just save all your gold for only this expansion, not buy any of the previous expansions, or just buy all classic packs. Which, yeah, you could do that, but you're not going to have that much fun with, like, just getting a feel of each expansion. You're going to be waiting a long time to build up your collection. I'm not sure that's the best way to build up your collection, because that's not how I built up my collection when I was a new player, but who knows. I think everyone's different. So at this point, I should mention more about the the decks, the basic decks that Hearthstone provide you. Unfortunately, these decks, they're not, they're not the best decks. They're not even the best decks you can build with basic cards. They're, they're woefully outdated, which is something Blizzard should definitely change. So instead, you can uh, look online for more, uh, more suited basic decks. And the site that I like to use. I used a lot when I was a new player is the Icy Veins. So Icy Veins, there is a set of basic only decks. These this deck list here is for Druid and there's one for each class here and it even gives you some card swaps. It is a little bit outdated so keep in mind that it will mention cards from like Karazhan, Moonglade Portal, Medivh. Those are in Wild so you wouldn't have those cards anyway, but uh, but like if there if there's more demand for for uh, getting 
up-to-date basic decks or cheap decks for the Witchwood era, then I I might make some deck lists myself. And um, that is where you can have that's where you can have more user submitted decks. And uh, Harpone is probably I guess Harpone is probably the best site with a wide variety of user made decks. And if you go to decks here and go to budget, you can look for like you can get a general idea of the sort of budget decks you can build. Now at this point, if at this point of like our new account, it's even at something that costs a thousand dust in total is going to be too expensive, which is unfortunate. But if you continually play over a course of a month, month or two, you will definitely have enough dust to craft a budget deck, and that is where you can start choosing certain certain decks. Um, usually hunter decks. There's, there's some hunter decks on half pwn that are rated very highly. So if you search for hunter decks, you can look for an idea of these decks. Like this this sort of deck has um, two of the most of the uh, most useful common cards for hunter. You got candle shot. You got dire more. You got cracking razor more. And you've got some of the secrets, and of course, lesser emerald spellstone. This is what you would want to aim for a budget hunter deck that is very powerful and competitive. But while you're at, not at that stage, you kind of have to get creative and put in some replacements, and they will still be able to perform. Just you might have some difficulties sometimes, and you have to may have to push for more damage or something like that. But there's always ways around that. So. A Blizzard also has its own boards for Hearthstone. You got the New Player Tavern, which usually, you know, there's a lot of people there that will help if you post a a thread asking for help or with a deck or with some new player stuff. Usually, people will be uh, give you a, a range of answers and help for that. And then play mode discussion. I mean, with play mode discussion, is there tends to be a lot of salty people <laughs> on the on the forums here, so it's kind of like you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> no pun intended, but yeah. And then if you search on Reddit on the R Hearthstone boards, like there's a there's a lot of random shit posts and stuff. There's a lot of ra random shit posts, but you got to search. You can search in here, and you search in new player. Or budget deck or something like that and uh, search for past month so you got stuff like this there'll still be some salty people telling you to disenchant your whole collection which I don't recommend don't disenchant your collection for one top tier deck but um, this this post seems pretty good so it tells you like the, the archetypes you can work towards. You've got Odd Row, Bid Range Hunter, Tempo Mage, Zoo Warlock. These are probably the four cheap ones. I personally play Odd Rogue and Tempo Mage quite a bit myself at higher ranks. And yeah, so you got like this, you got the deck list here and some more stuff. So that gives you like an overview. You kind of still have to be smart about looking at things because if you go to if you go to something like Hearthstone top decks, you look at any of their decks, you wonder, I don't have any of these cards, or I only have half these cards. How the hell am I going to get these cards? It's kind of difficult because even at my at my stage, I don't have all these cards. I have nearly all these cards for the even shaman, so I I can pretty much play it. But um, there's budget decks here. They do have a budget deck section. So you got these decks, you got the uh, Token Druid, you got Mid Range Hunter, you got Elemental Mage, Dude Paladin, and uh, Combo Dragon Priest, Tempo Rogue, Elemental Shaman, Zubalk. So some of these are, and, and also Face Warrior. So some of these are more, let's say, meta viable than others. But just because the deck isn't meta viable, it doesn't necessarily mean it's um, you can't play it at all. Because it then it depends more about like consistency of what you're looking to draw from your deck each turn. 
So look more into that as we build our own decks on this account. To get your to get help for your own deck on somewhere like the New Player Tavern, uh, you should download something called Innkeeper. So Innkeeper is a is a app you can download for Windows. Unfortunately, it's not available for, for Mac. But if once you get it, you can use it to sync your collection to Half Pwn. So, so once you open it up and you sync your collection, you can then go to your collection here. You can then go to collection here, and then it will show you exactly like the breakdown of down here. You'll show you the breakdown of which cards you own, and then up here it shows you like the cards that, uh, yeah, cards as if you were viewing them in game. It's very similar to that. So if you you can do that, and then you can share your collection. Also, if you also if you just set that up, you would want to go to edit collection here, and set this slider to public. That way other people can see your collection. And then once you've done that, you can just copy this link here. And then let's say you make a new topic or something and you paste your link to your collection here and you ask for help on your deck. So I should also mention at this point, being able to copy your deck. So let's say you just open up this mage deck list we've been playing. You uh, There's a copy here once you hover over this. On mobile, it should be like this as well. Also, to delete your deck, on PC, you click on the X button here. On mobile, there should be a delete deck button below this copy button. So that's how you should copy your deck. And then you go to hit, and when you paste it, it looks like this. So this is like the long version, you can see like all the cards you have. And then this is the short deck code, so sometimes you can provide only this deck code and it will work for um, for just identifying what deck you're looking for. You don't have to post this whole thing, this is just for like display. So you can even use this deck code to go to a deck builder and then paste your deck here. Press import. Okay, and then you've got your deck here in half pwn. you can even save it, and you can even like share it. You can even make it public so that other people can see it, that sort of thing. So that's a good way to share your own decks onto half pwn. So what would Hearthstone be without having some friends to play Hearthstone with? So if you're looking for some friends in initially, you can go to... The New Player Tavern has a Add Friends Here thread, so you go to here, so you, so you can check this thread out, and then add some friends here. So let us add a friend that we know. Oh, look, they accepted our friend request. <laughs> so now that you have some friends, um, there's a possibility that you can get, every, anyone can get a 80 gold quest, which is play a game with a friend, and both of you get 80 gold. So there are also threads online where you can look for, uh, someone else to share your 80 gold quest with, and, uh, that way you can get a lot of gold free to play. So, about time we opened up these packs. Now the thing with packs is that every pack has 5 cards. You are guaranteed at least one card which is rare quality or higher. So with epics and legendaries there's something called a pity time which means there's a maximum amount of packs you can open without getting a single epic or legendary and then you're guaranteed to open one. So with epics on average you open one 
epic every five packs, but but you're, you're guaranteed to not open more than 10 packs without opening a single epic. For legendaries, it's one legendary every 20 packs, and you can be really lucky and you could be opening one legendary every 10 packs, or you could be really unlucky and get up to the maximum pity time, which is 40 packs, without opening a single legendary, but on the 40th pack you'll open a legendary. Additionally, and this is pretty important for a new account, for the first 10 packs of every expansion that you open, you're guaranteed a legendary. So if we uh, sum that up for legendaries, you'll open one legendary in packs 1 to 10, and then you'll open another legendary between packs 10 to 50 of an expansion. And each um, expansion has a separate timer for all these rarity types. So that wasn't so confusing. Let's uh, let's open up these packs. Okay. So uh, you can also hover over the, the cards before you open them, and then you can tell by the color of the glow what l rarity it is. So we'll do this here again. Rare. Rare. Uh, Sources Apprentice will be good for Mage. That was what we were looking for. Rare. Uh, not so great on that one. Some of those cards aren't like. Oh, we got our legendary here. Oh, epic as well. Uh, Blood Knight is kind of situational. Legendary. <sighs> okay. Fortunately, Nat Pagel is not really that strong of a, leg of a legendary. Quality's good. Light Spawn we can use. Another epic. Whoa! Two epics. Blood Knight. Two of them. I wonder if we could even use it. Like, I'm not... I'm not really seen it too much used, but like... For Paladin or something, it's... The thing is, Divine Shield Synergy decks for Paladin is still kind of... Uh, a bit difficult to build. Alicia House is good. That's a good Hunter card. I don't really fast say we can use. So, Witchwood packs. Oh, nice. Bonfire Elemental. We need Elementals, though, so that's where we'll probably go and get some Angoro packs. Die Frenzy is good. Ghostly Charger we can use, Militia Commander we can use, Marsh Drake, yeah, you could use. It's situational though, because you need to get rid of this 2-1. So we've got another Cutthroat as well. That can be used with Zulok. Oh, This is more of a fun Legendary, we could always use it, definitely, in our Mage deck. Definitely. Phantom Lish is good as well. Okay, Holy Ward is okay. Ghostly Charger again. So I can't really say too much from that, but maybe a mid range Paladin? It won't be like anything gr great, but it'll be. We can use it. So let's buy some, let's buy some Angoro, and then maybe Cobalt. So what you can do is you can also buy multiple packs, let's buy two. I recommend Angoro, just because it has so many 
good cards across all the different rarities. Nice, we can use all these. Oh yeah, these are all pretty good. We can even use this in a hunter deck. This is good for priests for definitely if you don't have that much of a collection, we can use that. This is good for shaman. This is staple in certain types of decks. Firefly, we're looking for that. This is probably one of the best one drops ever printed in recent times. Hydrorus is really good for, for Paladin. It's not really seen too much in the top meta decks now, but it is still pretty good. Because you discover a secret, like a, especially in a free free card extra. Um, Galaka, yeah. You know, it's basically a River Crocolisk at this point because pirates aren't seen too much. Tar Lord, I guess. Yeah. Let's buy some Cobalt. Let's see what's going on. Ah, yes. When you buy Cobalts, you also get a uh, the free legendary, Marin the Fox. It's more of a fun legendary, so it's not like completely competitive, but it can give you some pretty insane results. So this treasure chest can give you um, some pretty nice treasures. Alright. Hook Derive is decent. It's a bit situational because you need 15 or less health. Shifting Scroll, yeah we can use that. Artificer is more for controlly type, type mage decks. Dry Gulch, yeah, that's pretty good. We can use that. Uh, this is sort of, eh. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Nivrench Paladin is definitely going to be something we're looking for. Tweak. So we got two legendary weapons. So Kobold's ca uh, Kobold's um, legendary theme for nine of them was one uh, legendary weapon for each class, and we got two of them in the same pack. One of them is golden. This one is a bit hard to use because you uh, it's a bit it's yeah it's a little bit hard to use in the top tier decks. You kind of need like the expensive combo cards, but let's see what we can do. Oaken Salmons is pretty good if we have that. Elven Minstrel staple in certain road decks. And this is just generally a good card. So, pretty good value from the um, Angora and Kobolds. Which wood value is not quite as high. And Nice of the Frozen Throne is. Um, it's still got decent value, but there's a. People always talk about the legendaries and Frozen Throne because they're all powerful death knights and stuff. So even with those packs, you know, it, it, it becomes a question of can you build a deck around these? And it it can be tricky. But we can experiment a little bit. So with our mage deck, we could even just Mm, we could even just cut, like, a Stormwind. Actually, I'd, I'd rather cut a Stormwind. Uh, Frost. And then try Toki. Now, sometimes putting Legendaries in your deck that don't really fit the curve can lower the win rate. But if you want to just, like, you know, have fun, be able to play the cards that you open and not just, like, have to dust them or something and just lose out. Yeah, like, so we can do that. Um, put an apprentice. Perfect. And we want to put a shifting scroll somewhere. Engineer. Yeah, I mean, there's also the thing where if you remove too many cards, 
it can kind of affect the consistency of your deck. There's that as well, but I think it shouldn't matter too much. I mean, I really want to put the shifting scroll in, I just don't know where to put it in. I mean, right now, this is pretty solid for just like a basic deck for some cards. Perhaps later on we can put this in. Well, let's in just improve the Hunter deck straight up. Um, I would rather put this in. We put in Timberwolves. Unleash the Hounds, yeah. Could try that. Die Frenzy. Oh, we want to remove these. So with the Silverback Patriarch, remove it from all your decks. You want, at the very least, you want Iron Grizz Iron Fur Grizzly instead, because that's a three-three. That's a lot better than a one-four. So you can put those in. I don't know if Raid Leader will help here. Oh, Animal Companion. We need that because we've leveled up our hunt uh, hunter. So you want always want Animal Companion in pretty much any sort of mid-range Hunter deck. Multi-Shot we can remove one. Snapjaw we can still keep because Hunter needs some beasts. Do you have any 5 drops that are like... You can add in... Venture Co? Let's remove that. We could try the Venture Co. I don't think it's best fit for this deck. I'd rather still put in some Boulder Fist as well. I don't know if Stormwind Champion helps here. Marin is a little bit too slow for this deck. Seems alright. Is there any other Hunter, duck, hunter cards? Where do you aid longbow? Hmm. It is kind of slow. It's a bit too high mana cost for me to reconsider it. Die Frenzy. I'm putting Die Frenzy. Just what do you replace it with? So you can check here. There's also the mana cost. On the left. Um, one ray leader. Do we really need another ray leader? We can try this. Oh, we're still missing a card. Let's put the let's put the ray leader back in. So that's something like an update you can make. Okay, so with Warrior... Ah, I forgot one drops. If we have Hunter, well you probably want... Do you want another Arcane Shot? Could remove a Tracking. But we need like more for our oh, Fireflies. Fireflies are really good. Ah, oh, we only have one. Oops. Warrior. So I would remove charge. Charge is not good enough. I don't think I've ever seen a deck, even like a basic deck, use it properly. Cleave, kind of. It's a bit slow. Ah, uh, we want to remove Lord of the Arena. We can even replace it with the Ornery Diehorn, just for some variation. Talord. Uh, it's a defensive card. You can put in Militia Commander at the 4 mana spot. If that, in that case, we also want to remove Warsong Commander, because it's not... don't have any, like... This is just a bit off. Let's just replace it with a... <laughs> Blood Knight. Mm. Just the Iron Fight Grizzly might work. I 
Oh, Frostle Grunt. I said we should just replace that with um, other stuff. So we can put in some other two drops like that. Those are pretty good. I mean, we could just have two City Swamp Moves. That might help. And then for one mana, we can put in the Firefly. Firefly and the Glacial Shard. Yeah, Glacial Shard here is a lot better because... Murloc, no benefits. Glacial Shard can help you freeze an enemy if you need to. Uh... Let's put in the Firefly. So this helps us with our deck a little bit more. Wolf Rider, I guess we can keep that at the moment. Oh, oops. Still missing cards. Oh, Nat Pagel. Hmm. It's kind of not good because you'd rather just put in a novice engineer. Which is unfortunate. They really should change this. Well, it, it used to be... It was nerfed. It used to be a lot better. Back in the early days. Could just try the Men Adventure Co. Shumbra. Or we'd rather have a 3 drop. Oh, Fire War Axe. We need 2 of them. There we go. Shaman. Now, we can change this deck up a bit. We can even try the... the Death Knight we got. We have to change this deck a lot. We want to use Bloodlust. Um... We don't have Flaming Tongue Toad, do we? Okay, no we don't. Let's put in this. I mean, I'll, the problem with this, I wouldn't even consider putting it in. It's just not that good. Because, look, uh, think about it. You got 1-1. One, one. You're looking for 3-2 in stats, like a sitting Swamp Ooze. You can choose from, what? Spell damage, taunts, which have 0-2, and then... Uh, Searing Totem has 1-1 one, one in stats. Healing Totem, so kind of has some utility. Okay, I guess we could argue that we can try it. I don't think we need two Windfurys. I don't think we need even any of them, but keep it. So we want to put in this. We need some more small minions, so... Let's remove those, put in the Firefly and Glacial Shard. Lepanome. Hmm. Even like, um, just changing this deck to be a Murloc Tidehunter. Uh, sorry, to be Bloodlust deck, we put in Murloc Tidehunter.
Do we really want Reckless in this deck? Okay, I'm gonna check the, the Icy Veins Shaman deck. Yeah, so they have Fang Tong Totem because they've upgraded to level 10, so without that... Oh, let's run with the Booty Bay. Don't want the Booty Bay here. I have Boulder Fist in here, so let's just put it in. Put it the Rocketeer. Oh, Razor Fen. Yeah, Razor Fen would do pretty well here. And then. Thrall. I don't know how well Stroll would fit in this deck. We definitely want a uh, Flame Tongue Totem. So Druid. Druid is not good enough here. I don't think we have the, the other basic cards that we unlocked. Tweak, huh? Tweak Death Road gain 10 mana crystals. This deck could probably justify Marin. It's a little bit slow, this whole deck. Urban scales, huh? It's better if we have lots of big minions. Definitely change that out. Healing touches. Uh, kind of don't want any copies of it, but I think we'll put one. Windows Firefly and Glacial Shard, I think. I think if Oaken summons, it's uh, it's not too good if we have early minions. Tweak, we want to try and put Tweak, it's just very situational. Definitely need Swipe. I don't think we have enough two drops. It's actually too slow. Cut the innovate. Do we want to cut a claw? Because it could help with twig. Let's just put a like a crawler because we can use it. <laughs> I 
think your urban scales, it's not so useful unless we have really big minions. These are kind of big minions. We don't have enough minions. Silence or enemy minions draw a card. That could actually help. Paladin! How much Divine Shield can we get? I don't think we have many things at all. Yeah. We can always um, put these in, of course. And we have Valonia. Now this card is slow, but it's really good. So we'll just put it in. It's a decent weapon anyway. And you want true silvers then. For two, you definitely want. Let's remove that. You definitely want Hydrologist. Could go with Dry Gulch, but. Yeah, ideally, you want something like Lightfuse Stegadon with that so you can adapt. Or Crystal Iron. Of course, level up is always the, the possibility, but that's an epic. Don't we need. Do we don't need two lights justs. Handicap protection could work. Even though it's not really a good efficient card. At this point we need like more what do we need? Gold shot is not good enough. Let's put in the fire flying glacial shot again. Stormwind Knight might actually work.
So that's the most we can get. Okay. This could work. Oh. I think two cards. What else can we put? We need two drops then. We need to put twos. Let's put in those. Now, ah, Warlock. Since we don't have any cards. Oh, we can always put in Demon Fire. Demon Fire is good. <sighs> Drain life! No. Not good enough. By itself. Yeah, we want to try this, so let's remove one of these. Definitely put the Firefly in. And the Glacial Shard. Uh, Geomancer. Hmm. I guess so. This is a weird deck. Ah, oh, Hooked River, of course, I put that in. The hero took damage this turn, gain life still. Yeah, I guess so. It's a 4 6. Since demons is kind of. Ugh. Two of those. Okay, that might just work. I actually want to try out the Warlock deck. So let us add a friend that we know.